Uh, I'm excited today to be uh, with Koske, uh, CEO of Nohara Group. Thank you so much for joining and for sharing your knowledge, Kos. How are you? Thank you, Amar. Uh, I'm very happy to be here and thanks very much for inviting me. Uh, absolutely. I know you have uh, a focus on culture and people. Can you tell us more about the Nohara way of envision and uh, what you like to do for your society? Our mission is to uh, change uh, the AEC industry. I have been in, in this industry for almost 20 years and I see a lot of uh, good things and bad things, right? Uh, but the, the, uh, the major concern that a lot of people are talking uh, lately is that the uh, young people are not coming into this industry. And we really want to change that. And what are the tools you're using to change that? Definitely one thing is uh, the new digital technologies. What kind of projects you build uh, in Ohara? As a company, we have a very long history in uh, Japan. We are mostly in uh, 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 trading, distribution of the materials, as well as uh, subcontracting in different trades. So our, our service will be given to almost any projects, hospitals, offices, condos, schools, like warehouses. Long lead items. Uh, has been a challenge for industries, uh, for the construction industry for a long time now. How you overcome that challenge of long lead items in schedules? It has been a challenge and it will be a, a challenge even in the future, I believe. But the, 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 the sharing of the information in our real stage is, is definitely the key. And I think that's the only thing we can do. About 10 years ago, we started looking for uh, the need for the change. And we found that, that this uh, big trend of digitalization is uh, kicking in. Uh, what are the technologies you're using uh, and the tools you're using to, to support your projects? For the last few years, we have been uh, developing uh, new uh, software apps, tools, and services uh, called BuildApp. It's a series of different services and, and softwares. And uh, they are all uh, based on BIM technologies. Uh, how would this made a difference in your workflows and uh, construction processes? Uh, BIM has been you know, used in many different projects, and that's the same in Japan too. The main user for the BIM uh, are uh, main contractors, architects, and sometimes owners. Uh, but uh, we deal uh, a lot with uh, uh, like uh, manufacturers, distributors, and subcontractors. And those people are kind of uh, not uh, that part of this uh, digitalization in the industry yet. So BuildUp was designed to, uh, to include those people in the project so that uh, BIM will be, uh, be used fully what technologies do you use on site to make sure what's designed being built? Do you use any laser scanners or drones? Definitely we have laser scanners. Yes, and drones sometimes. What difference laser scanners and drones did in your job site? One of the services that we offer is that the once we receive uh, like a model from the main contractors, like a LOD 300, we turn that into 400 and that 400 information will be passed over to manufacturers and subcontractors. Things like pre-cut, prefabrications, uh, just-in-time delivery, those kind of things will be achieved. What is a project example or case studies that you, you recently completed that you really utilize this technology in terms of prefab and uh, off-site construction? We focused on interior materials. And uh, so a lot of things are uh, being uh, pre-cut so that uh, on the site, uh, the workers can just, don't, they, they really don't, don't have to cut. They all, they cut just a, just a bit compared to in the past. And you know, they have, they, uh, they measure one by one and install, measure again and so on. So the productivity has increased so much. Like I, in some cases it goes up to like 40, 50%. How your open-mindedness uh, as a company, as a community, uh, being able to empower your work and make things better. And do you, how do you measure that? In the first place, uh, openness is very important for our industry, uh, at least for my company. It's the, the most important thing. 
in, in the in the past, before we start using digital technologies, the construction uh, project uh, has been very complicated. That there are so many uncertainties. The style of communication or the architecture of the project is very uh, structured. You know, it's uh, it's closed and very solid. But uh, with the, the new technologies, we don't have to worry about that too much. So the architecture structure will be a little uh, going to be a little different. Like uh, in the past, it was as I said. Uh, uh, structure then close, but now it's a little flat and open. I uh, I noticed your commitment to sustainability and reducing CO2 emissions in your work. So can you tell us more about how you performing that and accomplishing that? So sustainability is very important in this uh, industry, and a lot of uh, customers, our customers, are uh, concerned about sustainability too. Uh, in construction uh, process, in the past, uh, there are many wastes and a lot of uh, redundancies. But now we, we now we have have different uh, tools and technologies to to reduce and eliminate those uh, those those things. So there's there's no way that we we are not going to use them. Uh, what do you think is the biggest trends in construction technology uh, in 2024 and beyond? For the next year, definitely it's AI. ChatGPT4, ChatGPT4 Turbo, they are really great, for, particularly for like uh, normal people who have no capability or capacity to, to make something on their own. Right? So it's going to be much easier and easier, and uh, the applications will be way more for the coming years. Thank you so much, Kos, for sharing uh, the work you've been doing at Nohara. Looking forward to hearing great things about the things you accomplished. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Thank you very much.